Good morning. It is Friday, May 28th. I'm Jason Stanton. This is my morning musing for today. Uh, this weekend is a birthday weekend for me. I hit double fours. And as I do, um, I thought, well, what should I do for my musing today? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking about are these different ideas and plans that uh, we're trying to put together for, you know, my birthday is always a Memorial Day weekend. So then that has to be juggled with some other things, especially when it lands on a Sunday. So, because it turns out I that's my one day of week, one day of the week that I work. So, uh, I looked up a poem about, I looked up at the poetry, what is it, poetryfoundation.org, great place to find good poems. And uh, this one's a just a light one until you really start to think about it, which is what a good poem does, I think. Light bulbs on a birthday cake. What a difference that would make plug it in, make a wish, then relax and flip a switch. No more smoke or waxy mess to bother any birthday guests. But Grandpa says, it's not the same. Where's the magic? Where's the flame? To get your wish without a doubt, you need to blow some candles out. That one's called Birthday Lights by Caliph Brown. And so I read that and I thought, hmm, it's a clean, initially it made me think about clean versus messy. Um, there's a, a struggle I have in myself. Uh, most couples I know, one of the two people cares more about whether you pick stuff up, whether surfaces are cluttered, all that stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm the one that cares probably more than I should about that stuff. And... And yet, and so for all the times that I've walked into a living room, for example, and it's just covered with toys and papers and stuff all over the place, I find myself in a tug of war between wishing for that moment when I won't have three kids who refuse to pick up after themselves, uh, but I actually don't want to wish that time away. Uh, I, I cherish having them and now that they're all becoming teenagers, uh, I'm more and more aware that actually it isn't clean that I want, that I'll put up with some mess, uh, that there is some some magic in, in the mess, in fact. Uh, it's signs of life, really. But in the poem, it's like clean versus messy, smoke versus clear air, wax that gets uh, on your icing, because it gets blown onto the cake versus none of that. Just, you know, just nice icing. Um, the candles that, that burn when you get a bunch of them lit up that, everybody, you know, somebody in the group is like, oh, be careful, don't hurt yourself versus no danger at all. You know, with the idea of light bulbs on a birthday cake. So it, it reminded me of, you know, really thinking about how we crave for simple and clean and distance and escape from. And yet that's not, it's kind of like I crave Doritos, but it's not really what I want. You know, there's what you want and there's what you really want. That was a, a wisdom given to me a long time ago. Yes, there is what you want, but there's also what you really want. And you need to get at and strive for what you really want. It reminds me in scripture of Jesus talking about, you know, there's the, there's the things that are temporal, there are things that are now, and then there are the things that are eternal. And so we, we strive for the things that last. We want peace and quiet, but even too much of that, we've learned over the pandemic, uh, has led us to the truth that more than peace and quiet, we want relationships, which are messy. The air gets thick sometimes. The icing gets wax on it sometimes. The flames do burn hot sometimes. Like Grandpa says, it's not the same. Where's the magic? Where's the flame? To live your life, and I, I changed these lines of the poem, to live your life which is full of doubts, you're going to need to blow some candles out. I think there's a truth in this desire for light bulbs on our birthday cake, when really we know that there is magic 
in the flames, in the difficulties, in the, in the struggles. And so as we head into a, a weekend of hopefully some rest and relaxation for you, uh, I pray that you enjoy some of the magic of the flames. Keep faith alive.